do I have a good spot? Who knows, you know? Hey, yes, they couldn't do anything. I'm doing good biblical, you know. Thing. So today, go, oh, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trench today. I don't know, this, this daily thing is depends on where I am. Right now, I have good connection in Dembaza. Good bevel, I think, for the last couple, look, let me combine some stuff. Last we talk, talked a little bit about lineage. I talked about my campaign for lineage. Draft. I want you to write me in. Those people who are, who wants to sit down and not vote, uh, those people who uh, who have nobody to vote for, or even if you do have somebody to vote for, but somewhere on your ballot, I'm advocating that you write me in. U.S. You can write in, write in uh, my my uh, my name <laughs> that I'm going for for this ballot, my campaign, lineage reparations. Just write it on the ballot someplace. I mean, if you're going to go for a presidential candidate, you, you have you're going to vote for that. Put, you vote for it already. If you're in a, like an all blue state, you know it's not going to work for you. Or all red state's not going to work for you, and you just don't. It, it's all a big jig to you. Then just write in lineage reparations. First name, given name, lineage, uh, uh, and the uh, surname reparations. Right? Just 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 write that in someplace on the ballot. It's a poll. I'll, I'll explain to you on Tuesday when we do election stuff. Just, every day we're supposed to do something different. Like today is Friday. It's like a wrap wrap up. Of the week and things that I missed or whatever have you. Uh, Saturdays, anything comes to my head. Sundays, it's like usually I read something, riff off the reading. Monday is a me day. Uh, Tuesday is a uh, U.S. day, meaning politics, whatever's going on. Wednesday is world day, meaning whatever's going on. Uh, uh, Thursday is, is audio drama day, which I missed yesterday because of members' thing. And today, Friday is what I missed during the week. Where, hey, let me combine audio drama and uh, and continue what I was doing, what I was talking about on Wednesday. Which uh, was it? Wednesday was, was yesterday, Thursday, I think, no, 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 Wednesday. Wednesday was that, which I incorporated. Anyway, I did some stuff <laughs> that day. Uh, when I talked about lineage, uh, like like Barack Obama's lineage coming from, uh, from uh, coming from colonizers and spies, you know, and he and then and then, and then shoehorns the, the perfect spy in the uh, in the in the, in the uh, American African the black tradition of the United States. They, it's, Shoehorned him in there, and he did his he did his wormy spy thing, and then it is where we are now. Uh, I talked a little bit about the uh, the lineage from um, uh, Kamal Harris, who comes from uh, again a colonizer's lineage on on on. Well, yeah, Brahmin lineage on one side, and who knows what's on the other side? You know, so father says he's Irish, but he's from Jamaica. And, but he's got some of you before he did that. That's so, so that's all confusing. Uh, but the, the lineage, the two confusing lineages that claim black, and the only time you want to claim black is when you want to step on black people. Let's leave that alone. Let me go to Donald Trump. But everybody, all the black people jump. All the uh, I call them Negro peons, right? You got these people that are shilling, uh, that that are operatives that are you know. Of sacrificial lambs for the Democrat Party, and they just can't get out of their own way, and so they keep on saying, "You gotta go for Kamala Harris because she's black, <laughs> she's a woman." Poof, you know. And even that didn't work the last time when they did it for Hillary Clinton. You know why? Because the white people say, "Yeah, we want a woman, but not that woman." It's the same thing. Black look, black people put place. Look, well, the black people I know say, "Look, a woman is cool. Black woman might be cool, but not that one. Not that's a exact black woman that locked black people up." You know, and and. Extended their sentences and kill and kill and kill and kill black people on it, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now say what you will about Donald Trump. Yeah, he wrote this uh, uh, he took out a, an ad in the New York Times talking about you know kill them, uh, kill them black boys that did the wilding that 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 day. That's the one thing they keep on going to. They, they conveniently skip over all of Kamala Harris's. How many black people they she's killed? Uh, she's killed. Uh, 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 convenient looking over uh, Biden's record of how many come on now he wrote the law to put all the black people in jail anyway we won't get into that let me go to Donald Trump here's the thing first of all let me say something straight out Donald Trump is smarter than you are let me say that again Donald Trump is smarter than you think I'm not realize something that you know you with that fraternity no matter what <laughs> and you do the fraternity pranks you know everything's a game to you so you, you learn how to game 
You know, now black people, the downtrodden, we learn how to, we, when we were playing our games, you know, Ring Olivio, you know, uh, Johnny on the Pony, you know, we learn how to be tough at sham battles, you know, we you fighting everything, you can't hit the face. That, 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 we're, learning, we're learning how to navigate the world through the game, run its, run its course, you know, at some particular point it eats itself or whatever have you. And at some particular point, all these people that were, that were uh, uh, coming from these elite schools, and they started running government. Then they had this open, this, this revolving door policy. They run government, then they go and go to the private sector with a with a with a company that they got money from the government and they made the laws for. Then they be in that for a second, then they go back to government. So so they did the same people doing this, doing the same agenda, right? Simple as that, right? Well, Donald Trump sort of, uh, you know, he's still, still, still doing his things for his peoples, meaning the Wharton School kind of people, the finance kind of people. But he's got a little twist on it. <laughs> you got to appreciate it. And he can twist it more because the pe people who they've been grooming and choosing, they're, they're basically the bottom of the, 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 the top, the bottom, of the, the bottom of the bottom. They're not the bottom of the top, they're the bottom of the bottom. Because the top people, they stopped going into policy, they went into finance, and now they're controlling them through finance. And the politicians, the dummies, the, the retards in the back of the class, right? They who became uh, lawyers and became politicians, right? They're being run by their buddies who are smarter than them and, and knows what, you see what I'm saying? So you have a situation where Donald Trump, the great disruptor, Right, I think he. I think one of the things you have to understand about Trump is here's the thing. I want to say this. I want to say this. Maybe I'll leave it here. Everybody says, oh, Don, he's a narcissist. He just believes in himself, whatever. Well, so then use it against him. We say use it against him. Well, he. That means he wants to protect it. Like, like here's the way Barack Obama protects his legacy. He says that you gotta do what I say because because what I. Well, when I killed that American that, uh, overseas, when, 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 I, when I locked up all those people, when I didn't do nothing for black people, that's my legacy, and you got to protect my legacy. The black people are like, huh? What did you do for us again? You got to protect what you didn't do for us? Huh? And so they sort of disconnect there. <laughs> Meanwhile, and remember, also let me just say one thing about Barack Obama. Remember, remember they gave him a peace prize? Before he was even elected or something like that, they gave him a priest. Uh, maybe he was elected, selected already, but he wasn't sworn in. They gave him the Nobel Peace Prize, right? And he brought no peace to the to the world. I know that must irk Donald Trump. Irk Donald Trump's going and saying, "But I didn't start no war. He started a war. He killed Americans overseas, and all those other presidents. They kill everybody too. But I didn't start nothing. How come I don't get the Nobel Peace Prize? You could you could play on his on his uh, vanity or his." would say narcissism, whatever, say, hey, protect your legacy. You start no wars, don't start no wars. You, 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 you were doing, you know, you, you, you pardon Jack Johnson, hey, you pardon Maria Abul Jamal and, and, you know, and Leonard Peltier, you know, just keep on going down the list, right? Uh, my point is, you can, you, think about it. Stop reacting to like, oh, the Irish man did this. The Irish man didn't do nothing to you. What did he do to you personally? Nothing. Not a thing. Leave it alone, right? And uh, just, so, just so you understand, I'm not voting for Donald Trump. I'm not voting for anybody because of certain statutes. I'm not voting this year. But if I were voting, if I was in the States, then I would write in. Uh, now I would write in uh, because I'm into reparations. Reparations are my number one thing. The only party that's dealing with reparations because of Butch Ware, Dr. Butch Ware and the Green Party and, uh, and uh, it was, uh, 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 Jill Stein is against war. So those are my two big issues, no war. Well, reparations, no war. So the, that Green Party has that. So I would click the Green Party thing, but then somewhere else on the ballot, be it my congressperson or where we're a senator, whoever is running, I would write in lineage reparations. So that that is because me, well, uh, well, you think it's a vote? It's not a vote. It's just a poll. You're just taking a, a, a legal poll, a a, a a poll that will last uh, as long as they keep records <laughs> of what's going on. So I would suggest. Well, I'm. I'm I wouldn't suggest anything to you. You do the vote where you want. But I would say uh, participate if you can, as you should, right? And if, you, uh, if, you have, if you're just wondering, say, what should I do? Follow my lead, right? Well, not my lead. I don't want you to follow me. But do what, do what I would do. Oh, there was, I'm not real funny. Do what I would do if I was in the States and I could do what I was supposed to do. I would uh, click for the Green Party and I would uh, write in someplace on the, on the thing, uh, Lineage reparations. That's all. See? And because, no matter what you say, if Donald Trump, if they come over there, Donald Trump says, 
all this lineage reparations, man, everybody wants repar all these people want reparations. Maybe I should think about that. <laughs> you know, the other people ain't digging nowhere near that, you know. And uh, I won't get to, uh, again, uh, uh, next Tuesday I'll talk about the, the whole Green Party, Third Party, you know, uh, Electoral College, I guess, whatever, whatever it is. But just for now, just remember, write in lineage reparations. And if you uh, do that, then, then you do that, right? Okay, talk to you later. Bye.